guys, it's Nitty Last and welcome. In this video, what we're going to be talking about is the fact that Black Ops 1, as we know, is now backwards compatible on the Xbox One. Now, I know I'm a little bit late with this, obviously, news at the moment. That is due to regards that I've got a lot of family commitments this week due to my daughter's birthday and a number of other things that are going on. But I basically just wanted to actually bring a little topic to you about this Black Ops 1 being backwards compatible and how I'm impressed I actually am with the way that Activision are working at the moment. Now, I know a lot of people are throwing their arms up in the air saying, well, how can you say that when in Infinity Warfare, we've got a load more movement systems going to be coming about in November. But like I said before, plenty of other videos, at the end of the day, that was being made when Advanced Warfare was made. But it does look like Activision really, really are stepping up their game. And I'm highly, highly impressed with the way that they're actually working at the moment. I really, really am. Now, if we look at Black Ops 1, obviously we knew this was going to be coming uh, backwards compatible at some sort of stage. Now, it was meant to come out a little while ago and, you know, it's just been delayed and delayed and delayed. Now we've been hearing about Modern Warfare 2, maybe possible Modern Warfare 3 is going to be made backwards compatible as well. But it's just been a bit hearsay, hearsay. It's never seen it really coming about. Now, if you look at lately, a lot of things have been coming about. They really are. We've got COD, uh, COD 4, sorry, remastering being coming about. We've even got bribe weapons, uh, supply drops in uh, Black Ops 3. Now, all of a sudden, out of the blue, Black Ops 1 appears backwards compatible on the Xbox One. And for me, I think it's a little bit of a brave move for um, Activision, especially on the Xbox One side. Now, if we look forward to November, we're going to have Infinity Warfare, which is getting a ton of hate. A lot of people are hating on it straight away. There are people out there who do not mind the movement systems whatsoever, but there are a lot of people that are crying out for boots on the ground. So, for me personally, it's a brave, brave move for Activision because they can actually release another game between here and November. They could have delayed this one and put it out a little bit later, you know, just to try and, you know, sweeten up the deal with the way the Infinity Warfare have done it. But they've actually gone and released it right now. Now, the fact that they've actually released it now is going to give enough time now from near to November for them to release another game. Now, for that on the Xbox One side of things is a big, big thing. Now, what I mean by this basically is that Infinity Warfare comes out and it doesn't do well at all. It's going to have competition from Black Ops 1, maybe a possible other game, and COD 4 as well. Now, per se, yes, Black Ops 1 is an old game. Okay, yes, that was out years ago, but let's look at the figures of the people that are online. I mean, he's reaching up to like 90,000 people online. And that is highly, highly impressive for a game that's that old. Don't get me wrong, it'll start dwindling down, you know, once, you know, you know, a lot of people will start playing it once again, they'll start be jumping back on the thing, you know, the novelty will wear away just that little bit. But at the end of the day, a lot of people will still be playing on it. Personally, for me, I love Black Ops 1. Now, per se, if they bring Modern Warfare 2 out as well, I mean, that is going to bring out some crazy, crazy competition for Infinity Warfare. So it does look like, to me personally, that maybe Activision are realising really, really badly about trying to keep their fans happy. They've gone from this great big cash cow, I don't really give a monkeys, uh, to now actually really listening to the community. Now, they did sort of listen before when they obviously heard about it. people wanted changes, people didn't want exosuits, but they brought that about. But now they're actually bringing out all these new things. We've got contracts coming about in Black Ops 3. And don't get me wrong, personally, you know, it'd be nice to be actually seeing some of these weapons and stuff like that just appearing, and particularly the new specialist just appearing, especially if you've got a season pass or something like that. But the fact that you can actually earn it without actually paying in a sensible, sensible way is absolutely fantastic and for me personally I think this is just a start from Activision they are going to certainly be trying to keep people sweet obviously with Battlefield 1 coming about was being set in the past as well it is going to be very very interesting to see but I just wanted to let you know guys what I thought about this being actually backwards compatible the next one and how impressed I am like I say with Activision and it's a brave brave move from them especially on the market in front it really really is but anyway guys let me know how you're actually getting on with Black Ops 1 I know I'm a little bit late, late sorry with this particular kind of thing i will be bringing some gameplays and stuff like that but like i say it is going to be a family week it's my daughter's birthday so i am going to have to be concentrating solely on that i'm afraid i'm not a big enough youtuber to be able to do this full time during the day but anyway guys leave it all in the comment section below exactly how you're getting on with it but coming up on my screen now is my subscribe button make sure you're jumping on that and guys gonna drop a like on this video It'd be absolutely fantastic this is nilly lasso catch you later